Hey, what's going on guys? So, I'm working on my 2014 Chevrolet Silverado. Um, and what I'm working on today, is I'll, I'll go into detail, these are my camber alignment pins. Okay, now you'll see, you'll notice my tire, front tires. Okay, let's go look at the other one. Now these tires are about six months old. They have about a thousand, maybe 1500 miles on them. Now let me show you what I've got underneath the driver's side. I don't know if you can see, there's a pin here, right? There's no pin here, no pin on this side, and there's no pin on this side. I'm supposed to have two, four pins, and I'll show you the other side. Um, but before we go to that, um, now you saw what the factory guides look like, and that's them, okay? It's just one big fat oval, so even, even if it's torqued down to spec, it can still move and knock your camber off, off alignment. So this is what I got. This is, uh, the Dirt King fabrication. Um, I, and this is, this is an issue with, with GM, not necessarily just Chevy and it's not just the Silverado it's like the uh, uh, Avalanche and uh, I think 15 25 and 3500 uh, Tahoe Yukon I think uh, I, I couldn't be be a hundred percent certain either way but this if you remember seeing those pins I actually dictate where it's going and because of the pins that can't that camber alignment will be locked in it can't move let me show you what I got over here so I went down to O'Reilly and I bought some pins okay you can see one here so now this one here has four pins and right now I I do have it cranked down but I'm going into the shop hopefully tomorrow or later in the week so I can get new tires and get it realigned this is just kind of to put everything on everything together so i can put my my uh my tires on okay you can see maybe it's not it's not a hundred percent level but it's level enough i have no idea what the other side looks like i haven't leveled out the other side but like i said this is just so i can get down to the uh to the shop to get the alignment and the new tires um but yeah you can see what i what i had to do and you can see here i don't know if you can see it but this here this pin is underneath the bushing same thing on this side okay i was getting you saw those uh saw this here you see i've got nuts and bolts in it i was going to use nuts and bolts but i couldn't because the head of the pin is shoved is underneath the grommet now in order to put these pins in all you do is you get a little socket you, you get it in on this side you put a socket on this side and you get some vice grips clamp clamp it down now this one is kind of mangled up you can see I had it flat but as I tightened it down it ended up coming loose and I I didn't want that because I was able to push it out and that that could very well call, cause a, uh, a camber alignment issue down the road and I bring it to the shop they're probably not gonna do anything probably won't even tell me about it um, you know how auto shops are um, so anyways that's this video I did end up having to remove the bottom bolts for the strut as you can see to get these bolts out and it may or may not have helped with getting these new bolts in but now that I have everything together and I've got this these torqued over here and I've got the pins in I can go ahead and put these bottom bolts in and I'll be good to go um, now the instruct this is uh, this is kind of, this video is kind of a review of the Dirt King fabrication. I think this is a great idea. My wife, who n knows nothing about this kind of stuff, her, her first thing is, oh yeah, that makes absolute sense. Um, so, uh, kudos to Dirt King for, for, you know, fixing this common issue with GM. 
Um, and it, it's it's a review of. I mean, it's 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 easy to put on. I did the control arms, like I said, well back in November or so. I did my control arms, um, and I I needed to get an alignment, but my tires were already trashed. My my previous tires were trash. I didn't want to do an alignment because then I was afraid that I would have an issue going forward. Um, so in March of this year, I replaced out the struts. I replaced and I got bought four new tires and I said I wanted an alignment. Uh, the unfortunate part is, is when they aligned it, they aligned the toe. Okay. They did not align the camber, which I, I guess you have to specify that you want the camber when you walk into the shop. So uh, this is just a quick video of what I did and how, how I corrected this. I saw another video on installing these and in the other video he used um, some bolts because one of his pins was missing. But as you can see, I, I can't do the, I can't use the bolts. so. Anyways, that's kind of a review on this 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 uh, Dirt King fabrication product. Um, I I can't speak for the longevity of this deal, um, and the the the, uh, the documentation says to go get the truck aligned, and basically you're gonna make marks like I did. You can see I've got the red mark here um, on the on on the uh, factory cams, and you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and and. Uh, get these lined up but um since i'm going in for an alignment once i'm done with all this stuff that's not an issue for me uh so anyways that is it for this video uh if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave them in the comments down below um and as as a if if this job if this video did help you or helped someone you know that's got a, a project like this they've got to tackle Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and like I say at the end of all my videos, uh, if you want to know what my next video is, go ahead and subscribe. I have no specific content, but yeah, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be notified of my next video coming out. Alright, until the next video, thank you very much. Goodbye.